the world around us. The backdrop with a subtle soundtrack that provides our lives with context. A backdrop which changes with every eye that's laid upon it. A soundtrack that sounds different to every ear that hears it. With each brushstroke, Judith Desbrose's understanding of the world around her flows onto the canvas. It's a world she's passionate about. A world that swirls with an abundance of beauty and emotion. She plays, paints the Arctic icebergs, the Arctic flowers, the gardens in Quenelle, the farms. A former nurse and an educator, it was through travel and exploration that Judith found art. It's my way of observing and recording information, and then what I want to do is share it. Art is a tool that Judith now uses to spark conversations. Sometimes my paintings are a stepping off point. A stepping off point that leads to conversations about climate change, conversations about politics, conversations that almost always reflect her passion to protect and preserve this fragile thing we call life. I'm certainly affected by my surroundings. I'm greatly affected by the shapes of icebergs, for instance, by the colors of the ice, the sky. And when I lived and worked for four years in South America, I reverted to using all of these bright primary colors that you see. I've been basing paintings and drawings since the 1990s on this shape. She found this piece of wood in the Ilahu Valley. She calls it the Ilahu Eye. It's a shape that reoccurs in a lot of her work, a signature of her mixed media style of art. Abstraction allows you, the viewer, to create your own story. I terribly wanted to do an abstract painting and I didn't know how to do it. And so I used the viewfinder. The viewfinder allowed Judith to dive deep into her own art to find points of interest which told new stories. I wanted to develop um, some smaller paintings based on these garden uh, paintings, something that I call like a quotation or an excerpt from the big painting. And I had in mind to develop some narrow, tall paintings. And so what I've done is I've taken a viewfinder just like we used to have for our slides with the camera. And I've gone right up to the painting and zeroed in, oh, would that make a nice painting by itself? Would that be a quotation or an excerpt? The new series of paintings is called the Possibilities Series and will be on display at the Two Rivers Gallery in Prince George from March 3rd and at the Station House Gallery in Williams Lake in September. Through these displays, she has a message she hopes that people will get out of her art. To look widely at the world and, and to listen and um, to appreciate the world and its people. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Anand Chandy.